Hi everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to the Luxury Home Channel. Today we're in Palm Beach Gardens in the community called Avenir and we are here with Robin and Sammy. So Robin, tell us a little bit about this amazing home that we're in. Well, you are in Coral Isles, the luxury estate builder in Avenir. And this is the Cozumel floor plan. It's 3,900 square feet under air, three car garage, three bedrooms, a den, and all the rooms are spacious. This is a great floor plan. We call it the wow house. Everybody loves this floor plan, and they like it so much that we created a two-story version of it. You have the exact same amenities on the first floor that you do in the two-story version. You just lose one bedroom, which goes upstairs, creating the 5,800 square feet. If you want more information about this home or any of our other homes, please feel free to contact me directly or or you can give us a call in the description below. But if you are currently working for a realtor here in Palm Beach Gardens, they'll know how to contact Kenco Communities. Just look that up. And you can also find Rob in there. Just ask for Rob when you call, or you can just call me directly at the number and I'll give you all the information as well. So thank you, Robin, for telling us a little bit about this house. So let's go ahead and go outside and start the tour. All right, here we are on the outside of the house on this beautiful day here in Florida, just blue skies all around. So we do have a three car garage, which is a two car garage right in front of me with a paved driveway coming up to it. And then we turn over to the single car garage. What I really like about the design of these houses is how they have a single car garage over to the side. And of course, in front of it, we have a couple windows with all the nice tile work going around it right in front of that landscaping, nice tropical landscaping, which we have also in front of us right here as well as we come up to the front entryway. Another really neat feature that I like is how they have this window where they have the window on either side coming and connecting right on the corner. I love when the designers do that on the front of the home. I do think it makes an extra little cool touch to the home. And we do have that tile work that we saw on that single car garage here in front of the window as well. So as we come up, the entrance is a tall entrance and the slate roof above that as well. It is a double wide door in front of us as we step up to the covered entryway. And let's go ahead and go inside and check out this amazing home. All right, so welcome into this home. They go ahead and shut the door behind me. As I walk into the entrance, a couple of things that I noticed. The first thing is how wide the entryway is, but the other thing that really stands out has to be these light features that come down from the tray ceiling and all this woodworking and mirror going all the way around. And of course, below me are these beautiful porcelain tiles that go throughout the majority of the home as well. To my right, we have two bedrooms and a laundry room. To my left, we have a den and also the drop zone for the two car garage. We'll show you all that later on in the video, but first of all, let's go ahead and show you the main living area Area of the home, which is the family room. We also have the kitchen, dining room, and also a living room area that we'll show you just one second. But as we come into the family room, the thing that must stand out for everyone, it's gonna be this accent wall right in front of us where the TV's hanging off. We have this really neat fireplace. It is a fake fireplace, meaning it's an optical illusion. It's not really fire. It's just orange light with some little smoke coming out. Really, really cool feature. I love this. We've seen this in some other high-end homes as we filmed around the state of Florida. And of course, it comes out of that really nice shelf coming out, and we have the porcelain going all the way up to the ceiling as well. Above me, we have a tray ceiling and this really cool modern light fixture coming down with LED lights all in the circular shape, three circles popping down from there as well. So let's go ahead and head across here to the kitchen and show you what we have here in the kitchen. So the kitchen is got a nice large center island. As you can see, it's got plenty of space for five people to sit around this center island. Three pendant lights coming down from the ceiling as well. And then behind me, we have the pantry. So let me go ahead and open up the pantry and show you that it is a walk-in pantry. So you have plenty of space here for all your dry storage needs. But if you, this is not enough, you do have plenty of storage all the way around the kitchen, including in the center island as well. So talking about the center island, we do have the dishwasher our sink, our faucet as well. And then on the other side, you see all this nice storage. It's sort of like in a gloss white with chrome hardware going all the way throughout. A five burner monogram stove top in front of me, all gas powered. And then we have the air vent and this beautiful backsplash going all the way up as well. And sort of like a beige color and browns going throughout, which really contrasts well with the cabinets. And of course, if I look up the cabinets, they're white as well. But if I look up high, we have like stainless steel with frosted glass going all the way around with LED lights in there as well. So follow me this direction. We're going to show you the rest of the kitchen. We have our microwave right in front of us. So you have everything you sort of need here as far as appliances go. So the microwave, we have our refrigerator and right next to the refrigerator is our double oven, also monogram. And what's really neat is that as we came over here by the stainless steel appliances, the cabinets changed to sort of gray wood glossy shade as well. That really makes the 
refrigerators and ovens pump. Over here, we have the center island. As you can see, we even have storage in the center island. Of course, everything is soft closed as well. So we're all good to go. Now, there's a few things in houses that make you go, wow. When we first came in this house, we said, wow. And what we said, wow, to was this dining room area. So if I'm looking at the dining room, it's currently set up for eight people, but what really stands out, it's gotta be the ceiling and the architectural design and the ceiling with these wood beams going across. And of course these light fixtures, five of them hanging from those wood beams coming across. And of course in front of me is a bar area. It matches the stuff around the refrigerator as far as the, the glossy wood color that was around the refrigerator and double oven. We have all our glass cabinets here where you can have all your champagne glasses and wine glasses and everything that you may need for all that right in front of us here and also a beverage refrigerator as well in front of us so that's really neat but what's really neat is that you go behind that and we go to like a separate living area with a tv some floating shelves over it so you can put some really books or some decor on there as well that's really neat and of course all the picture windows going all the way around this little extra living room space. As we come around, you can see all the beautiful outdoor living area that this home has. And it continues through with the sliding glass door. The sliding glass door will open up and you can open up both ways and make the outdoor and indoor living the same, which is really cool in Florida because in Florida, the whole part about living here is the outside and the weather like we're seeing out here today. We'll show you all the outdoor living, the summer kitchen and the pool and the little, uh, little sitting area that we have over there a uh, little bit with a fire pit later on in the video so let's go ahead we're going past the fireplace again it's one of my favorite features and we're coming over to the half bath so these are if people are outside they can come out here of course we have the gray cabinets really beautiful countertops with like some really neat shades through it and of course the sink that sort of floats on top of the counter mirror and the wallpaper going all the way around Haley, who's filming today said it reminded her of like water rippling but in beige instead of blue so let's go ahead and go back over what we have to do now is show you the den and also the no, actually let's take you to the primary bedroom suite first which is over to my left so we come over left and then we move from that porcelain tile to this really nice carpet. Uh, to the right is the bathroom, but let's go ahead and take you to the bedroom first. We go this direction and we come to our bedroom. It's got the king size bed and tables on either side. And the one thing that I really do like about this is how they have the accent wall behind the bed with the wallpaper, the mirrors, the wood trim going all the way around in white, the crown molding, and of course above us with this really beautiful light fixture in the tray ceiling with crown molding as well. Behind us are some picture windows which look out to the pool and the water view. So just imagine waking up to that view. That is what you are getting when you buy here in Palm Beach Garden. So as we come this direction, we do have two closets. We'll show you each. Now they're all ready to be set up for custom closets to come in. So whoever purchases this house can design it exactly how they want with the amount of shoe storage or clothes storage that they need. And we have the secondary closet over here. As you can see, both of these closets have plenty of space. Let's go ahead and take you over to the bathroom. Check out this bathroom. So we move over from the carpet back into porcelain tile. Right over to my right is a vanity area. So you have a whole separate section for the vanity. So you can see here, do whatever you might need to do. Behind this is the water closet. We also have some extra towel closet, towel storage there as well. And then in front of me is gonna be a shower. We have this nice glass front to it. As we step in, we have hexagon tiles that are in gray shades. And of course the porcelain tile is a little bit gray as well, a little bit different than the floor tile, going all the way up to the ceiling with a nice accent tile on there as well. A little sitting area, also a place for putting all your stuff. Now, if you need the sinks and the tub, we have that covered for you too. We have dual sinks, one on this side, one on the other side, and a tub in between. So the sinks, we have the dark wood cabinets, and of course the really beautiful countertops. I love the design on these countertops. If you look closely with the whites and the grays going throughout the mirror that's framed in a dark brown as well. And of course the wallpaper that goes all the way around, all past the tub. And of course the picture window looking out to the side yard. And then we have the other sink area on the other side as well. So let's go ahead and now let's show you the den and the extra bedrooms on the other side. And then we can take you out to the pool. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to our video. Both me and Haley, who is filming today, is also my daughter. Would definitely appreciate all the support you have by subscribing to our channel. Or also, if you're looking to buy or sell, give us a call. We'll be able to help you out. So here we are. We do have the French doors coming in to the den area. So you can use this as a den or office. As we walk in, this is a nice space. We have engineered hardwood floors, really nice windows looking out to the side yard with all the tropical landscape. And of course, this one, they have a built-in desk 
floating shelves on there as well. And of course, all the nice woodworking going all the way around. Everything ties in really nice. This is a really nice room. I wouldn't mind hanging out here myself. So right next to that, we do have the entry to the two car garage and also a drop zone. As you can see, we have really nice white cabinets that match the kitchen cabinets, a light gray countertop, beautiful backsplash, even extra storage here with a place to put some decorative items. Behind me is a door going to the two car garage. It's currently locked, but it is a relatively good sized two car garage. So let's go ahead and go across the hallway and show you what we have down here, which is the laundry room and two other bedrooms. The walkways are nice and wide. As we come to the left, we get into the laundry room. We have our washer, our dryer, and plenty of places for storage. So you can make this into like even a little basic craft room if you want it too, of all the storage we have here. Sink, cabinets above us, cabinets above, below us. Wallpaper that reminds me of waves, rolling in waves, a little bit different than the ba uh, bathroom in the back that reminded Haley of water. Behind this door is some extra storage and it is a big space, so we'll open it up to show you. Uh, behind these doors are the air units. Um, so we won't open those up. There's nothing really to see behind those doors. So let's go ahead and go this direction. Uh, behind this door is like a linen closet. So you can store some towels in there if you had some extra towels. And then we have our bedrooms on either side. That door goes to the single car garage. But let's go ahead and show you bedroom number two first. As we come into bedroom number two, this is the bedroom that we started from the front of the house with the window that connected together on the side. Uh, nice area. I like the, where they have the table there looking out to the front yard, of course our bed, nice wallpaper, and of course the uh, crown molding going all the way around the room. We do have a walk-in closet, so you have plenty of space here for all your clothes, and they did put some built-ins in these closets. And then we do have a full bathroom. So the bathroom has a ceramic tile floor, white cabinets, uh, ca a countertop here, and of course the mirror. Uh, over here we do have the tub. The tub has a subway tile and really cool decorative tiles going all the way through the subway tile as well. So let's go ahead and go over to bedroom number three and show you that. This one is a nice size bedroom. We have a king size bed, a couple of end tables on your side. I like the accent wall with the diagonal wood planks going across in like the darker blue color. Uh, and then we have the crown molding going all the way around the ceiling. Uh, behind me, we do have another full bathroom. So it's nice that all the bedrooms have their own bathrooms. We've sort of seen that in all the Kenko homes that we've been into so far. We do have the brown cabinets, the, the countertop. I do like this countertop. It's white and then it has sort of like wood, uh, a blue going through it as well. Um, I like that. And then the mirror with the wallpaper behind me is going to be the shower with the tile and the, the nice blue tiles going through there that accent the lighter shades throughout the tile. So let's go ahead and take you to the outdoor living area and show you the pool, fire pit, and all those cool things. All right, so here I am in between the family room and the kitchen. I've opened up the sliding glass door so you can see how the outdoor and indoor living sort of combine into one. So as I step out, I'm in the covered outdoor living area. It's currently set up with a sitting area. And of course our summer kitchen. And this summer kitchen is a really cool summer kitchen. I love the cabinet work. It sort of looks like blinds going all the way through. Of course, our barbecue right in the center. Really nice countertops and subway tile with a vent. Everything is really cool here. Um, really nice area. And we also even have a refrigerator. So let's go ahead and go out. We go from this tile to like wood planking, like a wood deck going out to the pool area. It's a nice pool with a little fountain, a little couple lounge chairs over here. And we have all this really nice tropical landscaping going all the way around. But what's really neat is we continue along the wood plank. We go over to this little sitting area here. It's a built-in uh, fire pit sitting area. So if you had a whole bunch of people over, you can sit out here put on the fire pit, enjoy the beautiful Florida weather and enjoy your life in Florida. So if you're interested in moving to Florida or buying or selling anywhere in Florida, make sure you give us a call. We have professionals throughout the whole state. I want to thank uh, Robin at Kenco Communities for allowing us to film this beautiful home. And until next week, talk to you all later. Bye-bye.